Hello and welcome to another episode of, of Tutorials with Mr. Loki. Today we're going to talk about solving rational equations and we are going to start with our first method using the least common denominator. When we get started with this method, the first thing you want to do is find the LCD. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I've factored the denominator. Lots of factoring in this, this unit. So right below it here, x plus 3, x minus 3. So that, because there's an x minus 3 over here, our LCD, and I'd really like you to, to identify it here, is going to be that sum, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, so we're going to take this item, and we are going to multiply it by our LCD. So I'm going to slide this in here. And in brackets, I'm going to make them red so you can see that I am going to multiply the entire item by my LCD. As in, both of these items are going to go to all three items. Okay. And since that's the case, we want to look carefully about what's going to happen in each case. I'm going to multiply both of these terms by the first unit. You can see that these x minus 3s are going to cancel out. Okay. So... What we want to do then is realize that the only thing that's going to be left on this side is a 2x times the x plus 3. Again, the x minus 3s are going to cancel out. So there's our equal sign. Bring that thing down. And in the next term, all we're going to have is 3x. Because when we multiply x this unit by basically the denominator, the denominator and both of these terms will cancel. And we're just left with 3x. And last, we're going to get... 2 times the product. And we need to remember that this product is x squared minus 9, so we're going to simplify that. Now, this is where we want to get to. This part right here uh, means that we've gotten rid of all of our denominators. So now all we have to do is distribute, boil, combine like terms. Let's take a look at that again really quick. We are going to distribute, FOIL if necessary, and combine like terms. And we're going to do them in that order. Okay, so keep that in mind. So here we go. Over here we're going to have 2x squared plus 6x. And on the other side, we're going to have 3x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 9. Remember this is the difference of squares. It came from up here. Okay, so then we have 2x squared plus 6x equals 3x plus 2x squared minus 18. Okay. All right, let's combine our, our terms. You can see if I subtract 2x squared from both sides. Convenient. Both of those are going to disappear. Okay, and uh, we're going to be left with 6x equals 3x minus 18. Okay, let's subtract 3x quickly, and 3x is equal to negative 18. You can see quickly when I divide both sides by 3, nice 3, that x equals negative 6 is our answer. Just one solution in this case because our x squared terms canceled out. Okay, so let's quickly just revisit what we've done. We multiplied by our LCD after we found it, and we recognize that some of our terms cancel. Once we're here, we distribute, FOIL, and combine like terms. Using the LCD method, there's a couple of things to think about. I want you to kind of think about these things when uh, to identify when the LCD method is the preferred method because I won't always tell you what to do. Um, first, unequal number of terms. There's one term over here on this side of the equal sign and there are two over here. So cross multiplying won't help you. Okay. Uh, there are also common factors within the denominators. Remember this guy right here becomes x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay. 
So it's really easy to use the same term and cancel a lot. So those are two things to think about for using this method.